So in my last video, I talked about how I switched from the MacBook Air M1 to the new MacBook M3 Max version. I talked about traveling productively and right now I am at the Cologne airport here in Germany and I'm flying to Egypt over Istanbul. And what I'm planning to do now is to see how productively I can work here while traveling. But this is not the topic of this video. In this video I want to talk about something that I did yesterday in the video where I talked about the MacBook Air M1 upgrading to the M3 Max. I said that I hope that the M3 Max will render the videos in DaVinci Resolve a lot faster. And yesterday I did my first test where I re-rendered the video that I posted on YouTube. The results were not as I expected, to say the least. I paid two years ago for the MacBook Air M1, 955 euros. And this laptop right here costs 3,440 euros, which is the most expensive laptop that I ever had. And I bought it because I thought I could render videos much faster with it. And yesterday I did the first rendering test, which was a simple video in Sony S-Log3 color profile. And it has like 110 Mbits. It was like 13 minutes long. Okay, so the rendering job is now done. What we can see here is on the MacBook Air, it completed in four minutes and 37 seconds. And on the MacBook M3 Max, it completed in 2 minutes and 14 seconds. And the results were a little bit disappointing, to be honest, to say the least, for the MacBook M3 Max in comparison to the MacBook Air M1, because both are super fast. Let's not talk around it, it's, it's just the truth. Both laptops are amazing when it comes to DaVinci Resolve. If you do very complex projects where you do a lot of yeah, LUTs, color grading, overlays and effects and whatnot, then probably the MacBook M3 Max, the new model, would be the right choice for you. But for me, I'm just doing these kind of talking videos and a little bit of vlogging style where I travel around and that's not so hard to compute on a laptop and I don't know how I could justify paying three and a half thousand euros for a laptop that is twice as fast but the difference from four minutes and 40 seconds roughly to two minutes and 20 seconds roughly is like nothing so this point is giving me a second thought if the upgrade was the right choice here because for me to be honest if i wait four and a half minutes that's the same like waiting for two and a half minutes like come on it's it doesn't make that big of a difference but my question for myself is would the money be better spent in something else like for example put it in bitcoin and let it grow, let it rip. That's the question I have. I still will be testing this laptop. I can send this laptop back within the next 30 days or so, and I will be testing it in this holiday because I want to see how well I can grade with it. Is it any different or not? We will see. The first test I want to do is to cut this video until I am in Istanbul and upload it in Istanbul. And in Istanbul at the airport, I'm going to do a Istanbul travel vlog where we will, my girlfriend and I, we will be checking out the Istanbul airport in two or three hours. So this will be the test for today, how fast I can just shoot out a video with this new laptop. And also having in mind, is there a huge difference to the MacBook Air M1 model or not in the practical workflow. So stay tuned for that, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Peace.